Hello, my dear and valuable friends, and welcome. My name is Etilik, and in today's video, we're going to discuss why happiness should be private matter, why you should keep your happiness, joy, achievements, material goods, or even relationship status private. I'm not saying secret, but private. It's more personal. It's more hidden. It's not for everyone. Why we need to enjoy life and have happiness in privacy. Today is going to be a very influential topic and this is immensely going to influence your life, your thinking and of course experiences that you will attract in the future. So I'm very excited to do this video for you. Before I start, let me tell you, you can book one-to-one -one consultation with me. You can do my online courses, purchase my books, purchase any beautiful luxury items that I sell, anything you see on my videos as well that I create. And of course, thank you for your donations. All the links are below. Now let's start. What I want to tell you is, of course, smile, relax, get yourself comfortable, get yourself something nice and healthy to drink, maybe water or sparkling water, or maybe make yourself some tea. But this is going to be a lovely video. It's like watching a movie. This video is made for you to improve your life, to up-level your happiness. So number one, what I want to discuss, why happiness should be private, it's actually that it's a, a natural openness that is happening in nowadays society. It's a natural openness. Uh, I'm sitting here in a video and I say, hi, welcome. That's a natural openness. I still have my boundaries. I'm still, I understand that we are strangers. I'm not telling you in, in my house. We're just talking like this. There are boundaries. It's natural openness that I have. My heart is very open. I'm here to help you. But it's natural openness. A natural openness is when you see the video and they are making their makeup. If that's not a makeup channel, if it's not a makeup artist, no one should do their videos with making their makeup through, uh, during the video. Also, a natural openness is them being half-dressed or taking a shower and taking you with them, vlogging when they're eating, or taking you shopping with them and trying things on and saying, what do you think? A complete stranger I'm taking with them in the fitting room with me, I don't even take my friends inside of the fitting room. Okay, I am exaggerating if it's my best friend, you know, if we are in a luxury store, we have one fitting room with the sofas, of course, I know this person. But social media is not your friend. A natural openness is that you put everything on the plate. A happiness cannot be experienced in unnatural circumstances with a natural openness with people that you don't know and never will know, <clears throat> never will see. A natural openness is actually detrimental for you because you think that you are sharing happiness, but you are actually not sharing true happiness because happiness likes quiet. Happiness is very, very, very private. Happiness, it's like making love to a person that you adore. Would you like people to look at it? I understand some people post it because they want to chase money. But in general, a normal healthy person will say, no, that's between me and my person. So sharing happiness, it's like sharing your intimacy with the world. Happiness, it's like intimacy. It's very, very private. When my child is going to be born in this world, do you think I'm going to fill my labor and put people to see it? That is the most unnatural, the most disrespectful thing that a person can do. I'm first of all disrespecting you to show, you know, these intimate moments that I don't even want to look at. Second of all, I'm disrespe disrespecting my child and myself, my privacy. And they are uh, giving birth videos. We know there are couples, families that have big channels, millions of people are following them, where they're telling you everything, when they take you everywhere. The proposal, you are there. Giving birth, you are there. I'm taking the shower, you are there. Going to the bathroom, you are there. I'm waking up in a bed, in the, from the bed, you are there. I'm kissing my husband, you are there. A complete 
nonsense. Happiness cannot be in a natural openness. That is unnatural to share globally with everyone what you're doing with your life. Why are you doing that? You feel pressure because everyone else is doing it? I'm not doing it. Learn from me. I don't post family, close friends, my man, my dates, where I do, where how I sleep. I would never post these things. There are people who sit next to their bed and you can see their bed. That is unnatural openness. And natural openness is anything that you would not do with a stranger. You're doing on a camera. You're doing through the pictures. Maybe you post in different social media apps. Maybe you post an, uh, and you create a different profiles and you're trying to get money from it. A natural openness is detrimental and it's actually ruining your happiness. Because true happiness cannot be unnaturally open. It's quite discreet. How much money I have? None of anyone's business. Where and how I kiss my man, how I adore him, none of anyone's business in the world. How, how I dress, how I make my makeup, how I get ready, how I take a shower, take a bath, none of anyone's business. It's my privacy, my happiness. It's mine. So my question is, why are you unnaturally open? Why are you sharing your happiness with strangers, telling everything to your neighbor, sharing all the pictures with the colleagues at work? Happiness likes quiet. Now, number two, what I want to discuss today, very interesting, is that happiness, that it, when it's uh, too revealing, too open, you're sharing with everyone, has harmful consequences. Shared happiness in an unnatural way with people you don't know who you know a little bit, who don't really care about you, who do not love you, creates very harmful consequences. Now, we're talking about envy. We're talking about jealousy. We're talking about evil spirit. Because as we know, devil is alive and he's, he's doing his job very perfectly. Even if you don't believe it, we know all the time in the world that there is evil and there is good. And it doesn't matter if you believe it or not, there is a day and there is a night. Doesn't it matter if you believe there is a black and white, two different colors. So when you are sharing your happiness with people you don't know or know a little bit, doesn't matter if it's twerk or if it's a strangers in the street, when you are over sharing happiness, let's say it that way, you're actually attracting and welcoming and opening the doors and the hands and the heart for harmful consequences. Not every person is happy that you are happy. Not every person is healthy that you are healthy. Not every person is happy when you're hugging and kissing your man. That's why I will never post my man on Instagram or anywhere else because he's mine. And I adore him. He's mine. I will never post him because that's my private happiness. The moments I have with him and I hold hands or we go on a date... If we take a picture, it's for us. If I sit down on a restaurant, I'm beautifully dressed, of course. I'm always beautifully dressed. And I say, will you please take a picture of me? And then, you know, I can sit in a certain way and he'll take a picture. That's for me and him. The whole world doesn't need to know that I was on a date that day. I actually don't ever post a picture from a date. I never do that. Because it's like giving some kind of energy of love to the world that is supposed to be actually cultivated within. Now, of course, it's good to share things. It's good to share some announcements. It's good to share with your family that you're getting engaged. It's good to share happiness, share love. You go and sit and you do a beautiful picnic outside of your mansion and you're enjoying yourselves and your best friends are there. But it's within the tribe. Now, by tribe, I mean people who are close to you, your family, your closest friends. This is how we always used to be. We never, ever used to be like this, that we see each other from different parts of the world and we're just sharing, oversharing, showing everything to each other. It's very, very unnatural and it is creating harmful consequences. 
how many people that have all social media different accounts they are being attacked they're being hacked they're being bullied they're being chased they're being followed why is that do you think over sharing happiness over sharing success my new car no one will see when i get married no one will see not because i'm secretive but because it's my happiness level why would i show it to the world and actually that's very very um uh, being unprofessional so if i am doing these uh, videos and you can book consultation with me you can call me we can schedule a time and i can help you with the matters that matter for you that is what i do I can create beautiful online courses and I have different online courses. You can buy online courses for self-love. You can buy online courses for femininity. You can buy online courses for dating. You can buy online courses to learn a bit more about finances. This is what I do. Where in these moments you can see me stepping in and telling, oh, look what my man bought me. Who cares? That's actually very unprofessional. It's like you go to the bank and you want to say, you know, I would like to open a uh, savings account and I have uh, 100,000 I would like to put for my savings. And then um, they say, okay, great, madam, we will open that bank account. And then you say, yeah, by the way, what designer outfits do you use? By the way, what did you eat for breakfast today? By the way, who is your girlfriend? Can you show me some pictures? You don't do that because it's unprofessional. It's just a bank worker. That's it. You take the service and you leave. So you take, you watch the video, but that's it. So it creates harmful con consequences. Oversharing is always going to attract envy because not everyone is healthy and happy like you. Not everyone wants the best for you. So by oversharing your happiness, which is very private matter, you're actually giving a strength to the evil spirits to come into your life. And you don't want that. Number three, what we want to discuss is that actually um privacy um sharing a happiness which is privacy you by doing that you are creating an authentic enjoyment and i will explain this is quite deep let's just soak that if i share my happiness you have to understand that moment when we are in a car with my man and we are doing this height together and pretending that we are smiling and then I'm waving my hands. I am being an actress and he's being an actor and it's an authentic enjoyment of the moment because obviously we're filming to put on an Instagram couple goals. <laughs> an authentic enjoyment. In general, when I see couples having Instagrams and then showing how they kiss each other, love each other and drive with each other, whatever, fake, for me, repels me to my core. I don't watch. You will see, but we need examples. I will tell you the best example. Watch the Hollywood, old Hollywood movies where they're teaching you how to men to be with women, how to date, how to um, be with each other. Here you go. You have examples. There are millions of dollars invested to create these huge, beautiful movies. When couples are posting their love on social media, it is unnatural, unauthentic. It is, um, they're playing a role. And how many couples do you know that actually are in love? They put the camera and they say, oh, we need to film. I will never put my relationship on a display. It's unacceptable for me in my own mind. It's very, very big value for me to be with a man. And I'm a very, very private person in general. If you watch me long enough, you know that I'm very private. And that is actually what makes me beautiful. <clears throat> that exactly what makes me beautiful because I'm private. Because I'm not trying to overshare. So an authentic enjoyment means that you are actually pretending when you're making videos or you're pretending when you're making these um, photos. To share with people you don't know, never will know, who do not care about you or who are envious of you. Because you want to get views, because you want to get brand deals. I don't care about any brand deal. I don't take, I ignore those messages. I ignore those emails. Delete. If I want to show you something, if I want to sell you something, this dress I designed. Would you like it? Look how beautiful it is. It's all floral. Look at the beautiful hands. Look at this beautiful cute bow. Mm-hmm. You want it i will sell my own things beautiful decors you see uh, on the back you want the candle holders great you can order and my team will ship it to you 
I will sell my own items. I'm not doing brand deals because I'm not trying to be out there to earn people look at me. I'm looking for validation. It's an authentic enjoyment because if you really love someone and you're kissing them and the camera is there to record, you're not going to kiss them. Think about it deeply. You're not going to kiss them exactly like you want to kiss them. You're going to worry about your hair. You're going to worry about your chin. You're going to worry about the angle. You're going to worry about to make it more passionate than it is. So you are faking it. So I'm not watching those videos because I know you're all faking it. But a lot of people don't know that. They're watching and they think that this is real. This is all fake. So all the channels, accounts where people are actually putting their business, their families, their relationship, I don't have one that I follow or watch because it is not on, it's not authentic joy. It's staged joy. And lastly, what I want to tell you, um, I want you to go back to the original organic privacy. To be actually truly happy, you have to understand, like I mentioned in the beginning, happiness is quiet. Happiness loves quiet. Happiness loves peacefulness. Happiness loves this a little hidden whale, like a little curtain. Happiness loves to be very individualistic, like it's for me. Happiness loves to be private. Happiness, same is with healing, they're not public matters. Happiness and healing are personal, private matters. You will never look at this uh, subject ever again the same way like you did before this video. You will understand that I'm not going to take pictures of everything I do just to post this, just to show. Who are you showing it? I want to ask you, everyone. Do you know these random people from different countries? You will say, but we need to connect. No, connect with the community where you live. Connect with the people that are around you. Connect with the people at the church that you see. Connect with the people, the, the restaurant where you're sitting. Say, hello, how are you? Connect with your family members, the relatives, connect with your neighbors at the community where you are now. Because I understand very well, because you're trying to connect to someone who lives on uh, a different side of the continent, it's so fake because you know that you don't need to really be close to them. So by you saying, well, I have all these friends around the world, you don't have friends around the world. There is no point for you to lie. <laughs> you need to connect with people your tribe now there where you are located if you don't like them find somewhere else relocate find new people but you need to connect with people who are with you in your continent with your time zone not oh i have two millions of followers i love them all i know them all i love you guys have i ever said that it's so fake how can you love someone you don't know I am here to share love. I'm here to give you love. I'm here to actually show you how real love and healthy love looks like. But I don't know you. I can love you only when I get to know you. So do you see how fake social media is? How fake is oversharing? I want you to go back to the original privacy design and understand that my happiness is private. It's a per personal matter that I'm not going to share. Share with your best friends, share with your close neighbor, share with someone that you're actually very close. That's why I say close neighbor, not the neighbor that hates you. If you wanna really share, share with close people around you, in your radar, in your location, but do not overshare because the original privacy of a happiness, it's actually very hidden, it's discreet. And it has always been like that. Even when people get married, they don't show their marriage pictures. If they sit somewhere, they hold, cover their marriage picture because there could be some single person who is envious of that, who's jealous of it. Now, <clears throat> you will say, how can I protect myself from everyone? You don't need to protect yourself from everyone. You just need to protect yourself from strangers, from people that don't know you. So happiness, original design of a happiness is actually to take it to yourself, to experience happiness for yourself without sharing it. 
Can you promise that next time when you cook a beautiful, beautiful meal, you can take picture for yourself if you want, but you're not oversharing, okay? Next time when you're with a man on a date that you really love, don't post him. Even his hand, even his pen, even his uh, part of his shirt, don't post him. Cherish him. Can you promise that? Next time when you're on a girl's night out, don't post their faces. Don't post everything you do. And most importantly, don't post private things that are only between you and you. If you post how you're praying, I know it's fake. Because prayer is the most sacred moment. So really reconsider your life, what you're doing, why you're doing that. And make your happiness private. You know, private account. Close, you know, like put the key, put the like a lock on it. From now on, say, my happiness is private. The man I'm with is private. My kids, private. Don't put your kids on social media. I could never understand this. My clothing, my beautiful luxury items, private. If you don't have a YouTube channel where you're teaching about makeup, makeup moment when you're doing should be private. Where you don't have a YouTube channel where you're teaching about femininity, your femininity needs to be private. Happiness needs to be private. Happiness likes quiet. Thank you so much for watching. Now let's summarize everything that we learn. Happiness, number one, what we learn, why it's unnatural for us to share or overshare is because it is actually unnatural openness. It's not natural for us to overshare our happiness. And we never done it actually. If you look through our generations, social media, internet is very new. And it, as you can see, it's not really working well. So people in the old times, they knew what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So let's go back to basics. Of course, use internet for good, but don't overshare because it's unnatural openness. Number two, we discussed that oversharing your happiness is actually created, creating very harmful consequences of evil, of uh, jealousy, of actually uh, making sure that you fail. So you don't really want that. You don't want to attract people who are going to be envious of your happiness or of your beautiful man or your beautiful woman. So if you're not a public person, you should not be out there. I always say that. And number three, we learned that actually when you are oversharing and sharing your happiness, that is private happiness, for example, your relationships or what you're eating or how you're playing with your kids, you're actually creating unauthentic enjoyment. Because there is a percentage of you that is going to fake it. There is a percentage of you that is going to move in a certain way, to pose in a certain way. Because now you're an actress or an actor. So it's not authentic. So you're not really in the moment. You are on a stage. You are playing. So you don't need to do that. Let the movies show the examples and inspire us. We don't need real life couples to inspire us because that's not real. It's staged. Okay? So unauthentic enjoyment actually rubs your moment of life. It rubs you to be authentic and authentically enjoy life. And last one, we discussed that we need to go back to the original privacy design. And we need to be like organic. No preservatives. I'm not faking it. I'm not uh, oversharing. I'm natural, organic, original design. So that means my happiness is private and I live it in a quiet and I don't need to overshare it. By me having privacy... I actually enjoy happiness more. Now you learn so much and all you need to do is to implement. Knowledge has no power if you are not implementing it. Knowledge doesn't do anything in your life if you are not actually embodying it in your life, in real life. So learn, implement it and change your thinking and change your quality of your life. And of course, the, the last, what I want to remind you, keep your happiness private and of course, Smile today and enjoy your life.